Hello, this is Broid. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Stellaris. Oh, we got this uh, wonderful uh, deformed creature colony over here that took over one of our colonies. Uh, we, we, we did that ourselves. We let loose some nanites and uh, they mutated a bunch of things. So, bad stuff happened. <laughs> um, construction ship, where are you at? You're down here. You can actually go ahead and start filling in the rest of the stuff that we need here. Build all the mining stations, sir. Thank you very much. So yeah, we're going to go try, try and go back and get that here. We got some Research complete. assault legions going out that way. Whether or not it's actually enough, we'll find out. Uh, oh, there's our destroyer. Awesome. Um, defense platform hole points, mining station output, more better armor. Better armor sounds good if we're going to be doing some fleet stuff. All right, so let's go to our ship uh, designer and destroyer auto best. I mean, if it's, this is what they say is the best, then I'm all for it. Um, all right, well, in that case, let's go ahead and build us some of those awesome auto bests. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Shipyard. We want to build, how many, how many companion points are these? I'm guessing two? Yes, yeah, there's, these are one, these are two. So we have enough for at least three more. No, four more in our, our actual main fleet. Uh, it looks like it does not take any special metal. Oh, there's actually piracy suppression on these. That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and build two here. And then can we build two more over here? Oh, you don't have a ship, a, a, a shipyard. Well, I think it's probably okay to build shipyard for, for you, actually. Um, let's get you a shipyard going. And actually, I want you to at least get a trade hub because you might be able to pop the trade over here presumably and uh, let's go with that target uplink computer everything else looks fine some disruption stuff which probably is a good idea I don't know let's just build some things over there this is our little uh, one that's blocking our I don't know. I don't know if these guys are going to get aggro at all, but just in case, they're they're there for that. All right, Dissidia Starbase is not currently building a trade hub, and if you did, we could actually expand out here. Although, if this guy does, we should be able to pick that up anyway. So, I don't think we'll need that. Now, we don't have anything out this way at the moment to pick up that one. I'll have to think about that. Governor, gain trait. All right, what trait did you get, sir? Guessing it's the architectural interest. All right. Another leader gained a trait. Oh, research speed. Spark, spark, oh, no, you just gained a level. Oh, you just gained a level. That's right. Fair enough. That's our colony ship is heading out this way. In fact, why don't you just head all the way to there? You're going to end up colonizing that ocean world out there once you finally get out there. Science ship is very slowly researching the anomaly they found. It's a bit high level, but they're they're not going to get any more levels themselves, so figured it was worth it. Construction complete. All right, so you're good there. So go ahead and build the mining stations here as well, while you're in that area. But we'll at least be able to pop our uh, our survivors down on a new colony. Oh, hello. Um, the city of Prime has what is this? Unemployed and building slots available. Perfect. Okay. Do we ever get the temple here? I don't think we actually did. So let's go ahead and get the temple. That's going to give us a little bit more. Some priest jobs, which is fine. Um, and then, Xfury, you do have your temple. So you have some jobs available and a building slot available. Um, I mean, what are we short on? I mean, consumer goods would be good. You're a generator world, so anything that's going to help us with uh, technicians would be useful. We don't have to stick with that, but I mean, if there's a way for us to do that. More energy credits from technicians. Sounds like a really good idea, actually. It only provides one job, but it's going to give us a decent amount more energy from those. All right, so there's our fleet up here. We are building, obviously, more fleets down here that we'll group up with that here momentarily. Maybe once we get all those guys grouped together, we can come over here and knock out this 
stuff, which probably should be fine. Um, did you finish your... Okay, you did finish your one thing, so we can go ahead and go over to the shipyard and knock out a couple of destroyers here as well. Looks like you can build the buildings on the starport as well as the uh, ships themselves at the same time, which makes sense. All right, here comes our landing fleet. Maybe we can get this back. Construction complete. Uh, Dox has finished its construction queue, which is fine. You have can construct additional buildings and modules, which is understandable. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like I need any of these. I mean, if they get into our capital, then we've got bigger problems than whether or not we have a disruption field or any of that stuff, I think. Um, I mean, I could just get more resource capacity. I think our food's okay, so... I don't know. Let's get some resource silos. And then as far as the other modules, I mean, if we did another pair of trade hubs... So we're already getting one, two, three. Okay, so that would get us three, but wouldn't quite get us anything new. If we could get four, we could get all the way out to this one. Which at some point we'll be able to get four. Does the uh, trade hub do anything other than this range? And does range give us anything extra? Like, for example, um, so we're collecting from these places nearby. Oh, wow, there's actually piracy here. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. So we actually are getting some piracy at one of our nodes. Trade rate value is 43. Max piracy is minus 10. Smaller ships have... Okay, so if we send our ships over there, then they'll reduce the piracy. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um, all right, what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to add a trade hub here just to see if it has any... There's any way that the overlap helps or anything like that because we already know that we have one in the uh, the city system down here. Or the Xfury, actually, even. So if we get a trade note here, either one of those, then we will see, you know, what if there's any sort of overlap or anything like that that, that we get benefit from, which I, I doubt, but it's worth trying. Our landing fleet is almost there. Uh, you have overcrowding, so let's go ahead and get you... Let's go and just get you a city then. Uh, new, new, enough unity to adopt, adopt a new thing. Good. Uh, looks like we are, we're working, that's right, we're working on domination. So we only have two more to go there to get the, uh, I guess just monthly influence, stuff like that. This reduces crime. I don't know that we've had much crime yet, but can't hurt to have more reduction. Alright, so we completed the construction, the mining station. Good. Uh, construction queue, construction queue. Um, so, you are good to go. I mean, I guess there's no reason not to continue out these places, maybe? I don't know, maybe there is, but I feel like it's okay. Unclaimed system. The mutagen merchant guild has at least one station in the system. Okay. So obviously these black holes and alligates and things like that over here. I don't know. Let's come out here and uh, build a starbase over there, I guess. Alright, so our fleets are here. Or our landing fleet is here. So. Oh, they, they left. So it's completely just gone now. Um, I don't think there's anything for us to land on, is there? Like if I grab you and I say, um, 
into orbit. Center orbit first. I don't know if it... I don't think there's anything to land on. I think we completely lost our... Uh, our thing, which is fine. Construction complete. Alright, so if you're over here and over it, entering orbit, or you should be in orbit. Okay, so yeah, I must be calling it. So that makes sense. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go to our expansion planner and let's just expand to, to uh, plan to expand out here. And uh, yeah, we'll have two colonies going at the same time, but I think it'll be okay. All right, what else we got going on? So our strike force is good. Mining base, a series of deep boreholes on the surface of Avalum. Oh, this is the research thing that we did. Uh, 6A are all that remain of the Erassian mining operation that was active on this world some 1.2 million years ago. The ISS Nomad has conducted a thorough surface scan. We have yet to find the remains of any actual mining facilities. Issue spe uh, special project mining base. All right, well, let's go do... Mining base. We'll research that. Construction complete. All right, so I guess we don't need our fleet over here. Um, where was the piracy? It was over here. So I guess you head back over here. Cover that. I guess our armies can just go back home for now. I don't think they need it for anything. Unless when we settle that, suddenly the armies pop back up, which... I suppose it's possible. Tremors. A Thier 3. Oh, pause. Uh, it's going through a series of rapid seismic changes that are transforming the formerly pristine environment into an unrecognizable uh, hellscape. Deep rifts, some spanning entire continents, are forming across its surface, spewing sulfuric gases and noxious liquids from deeper within the crust. Satellite data shows strong bursts of sonic energy pulsating from the planet's inner core as from a heart beating. Uh, so this is a Thier. Where is a Thier? Where is a Thier? Um. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Oh, which one did it say? Was it this one? No. Is it this one? Yep, there we go. So that's obviously going to make it more devastated and stuff like that. So we weren't planning on settling in that one anyway, but uh, it's good to know. Construction complete. Actually, uh, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and send our ships back over here after all, but you guys are going to go over there and group with them. You guys head up there, group with them, and we'll get everybody together and we'll go over here and probably knock these guys out over on this side of things. Still have some uh, compar uh, component slots available on a couple of these, which not too big of a hurry to do anything with just a second. All right, so you're good there. Let's swing back over here, I guess, and just build these mining stations or these research station things like that for now. Construction complete. Yeah, so we're there. Does that does that cut out the piracy just with you by yourself? It does. Now, does that mean when we leave, it'll come back? Probably. Guess we'll find out. Construction ship over here. You're good there. Go ahead and build the mining stations. Another shockwave of earthquakes has struck Ethereum 3, cracking the lithosphere open, expelling more toxic gases of sludge that now blanket the surface, smothering all living things. The changes to Ethereum 3 are both irreversible and substantial enough to render the planet uninhabitable within the near future. Wow, crazy. So, what was at one point inhabitable now is, I guess, completely uninhabitable. That's down to 15%. Construction complete. Special project complete. Okay, archaeological project completed. Uh, after investigating the boreholes on a Valum 6A, archaeologists found the fossilized remains of over 100 Erassian miners at the bottom of one of them. They appeared to be more victims of the Javarian pox that brought about the fall of the Erassian Concordat. 
In a futile attempt to keep the disease from spreading, their comrades dumped the bodies down one of the boreholes before the moon was evacuated. Interesting. So we recover an artifact and we get a little bit of research. Alright. Um, and I think our science ship is now good to go. How about you come over here and survey that system? Oh, you are actually here. So you need to settle over here, I guess. Colonize that planet. All right, what else we got going on? You are got some unemployed pops. Um, you're currently in Agri World, which I mean, I guess we could keep you that way. Construction complete. Sure, why not? Wasn't really planning on specializing these plants right away, but if they're already kind of leaning that direction, might as well. All right, Boibos has unemployed and building slots available. You've already got your temple. You're actually already a generator world. You've already got an energy grid. Um, I mean, in theory, we can give you more energy, but we're actually a little bit low on consumer goods. So why don't we just pop down into civilian industry for now? Genesis. A theory three is no more. A final sequence of violent ruptures has cracked the planet open and and from its empty shell crawls in the newborn form of a creature of unimaginable proportions. Oh my! It goes against all sense. Still, there is no other way of explaining it. Somehow, what we mistook for a world was not a world at all, but an egg that has now hatched a night night nightmarish voice spot into the galaxy. <laughs> uh, okay. This does not sound good. Oh, look at it. That is cool. Oh, no, where'd it go? There it goes. Wow. Okay, that's, that's fascinating. That is absolutely fascinating. Uh, I mean, are you like a mob that we got to go now beat up on? Because it's going to destroy everything or something. Wow. That is interesting. What if we had colonized that? That would be really cool, but we didn't obviously. But I don't know if that thing will become sentient here in a moment or not uh okay we're building things where we need to at the moment leader has gained a level up uh strike forces are merging together transport fleets coming back home it's 20 uh research that we have available to us we'll have to Definitely send our construction ship over there in a moment. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I thought it was going to pop up here in a second. So we do have the void spawn. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and it is... Like, we just don't know. It's too strong to know. That's just crazy. Oh, wow. This thing is just... Okay. Despite the fact that we're about to lose a colony and a bunch of other things, this is still really cool. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to come over here and destroy this thing. Construction complete. Research complete. What's it doing? Construction or is it going to move on? No, it's just complete. patrolling. Uh, okay, construction complete. Construction complete. Technology completed. Habitability. Okay. Um, pop growth speed. Fleet command limit. Excuse me. Um... Fleet Academy. Could be interesting. Generative tissue, all that stuff. I mean, I like the population growth speed, personally. This one's done. Auto cannon, rail guns, space torpedoes. Hmm. Let's go with the rail gun for now. I mean, presumably it's going to come attack our stuff, right? In theory. Or is it just going to stick, stick around the sun for now? <laughs> guess, we'll, <laughs> guess we'll find out. I'm kind of not expecting that still be alive. All right, construction ship. Uh, where are you at? Oh, you're here. I mean, I would love to send you into there and set that up, but I can't imagine that that's not going to happen. 
with that thing running around. Oh, this one over here is now inhabitable. That's good to know. I don't know that I want three colonies going at once, so we may hold up for just a second. Um, I guess we will... Well, let's go ahead and build a star base here anyway. We are going to eventually settle that one. Oh, look at all these other ones that are popping up that are now borderline, you know, 40%, so they're within reason. I mean, I'm not going to settle them right now, but it's definitely, they're, they're there. Construction complete. All right, so Docs finished its trade nodes. Okay, you have defense platforms that can be upgraded. Um, so you have two trade hubs, right? So presumably, if you're able to jump two away... So this is still being collected by those local trade apps, which makes sense. Um, but presumably, if we had done this first, we might not have had to do that, which is fine. We're still getting 100% trade value from each of these things. So all that looks fine, I guess. Uh, you do have defenses that can be upgraded, as well as building more. I guess we'll do that, and then we'll build... Why is it not letting me build more? Oh, we're actually liking stuff. Fair enough. Oh, where are you at? You're over here. Um, I guess come over here and hook up. Well, we don't really need the minerals, to be honest. Um... I mean, I could start moving my way up this direction. I mean, this is obviously a really, really good planet back here. There's not really a lot of stuff that we need out this way. I guess come do this thing. I mean, there's some science here we can set up. Just move here. We'll set up the thing once we get enough enough alloys, which, honestly, that's something else we should probably just be building more of. We, alloys is the thing that we seem to be using the most of. So this is now is effectively a trade hub. This one's listed as a bastion. Okay, so it does, it does specialize them based on what you've been building there. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Okay, anomaly. We'll go ahead and research that, I suppose. Yeah, who knows how strong that thing is. I wonder if it gets stronger. All right, so you actually are a generator world. You do have um, unemployed pops. Now, we don't have the, the means to clear that blocker, I don't think. Let's see here. Where's the blocker clearing come from? Is that the toxic kelp? Uh, okay, we're missing technology. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so this is what increases the number of mining districts and things. Interesting. Uh, I mean, anything we build at this point would have to be one of these things, obviously, because we don't have a... Uh, we don't have any other spots. We have plenty of housing. I mean, I guess we can do some food. Why not? All right, we're going to put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, uh, I guess we'll keep an eye on this void spawn over here and see what goes on there. We'll continue to settle a few of these other places and, you know, kind of keep things up. We'll probably also get our ships, which are actually now together. We'll get them all merged together to one fleet. Actually, we can go up to 40 now. Interesting. Okay. Well, we may, we may actually bump it up even more to come over here and go after these guys. Um, in fact, what we will probably do, actually, we'll do it this way. Just real quick. In the fleet manager. Fleet manager. We can create templates for our military fleets. So we want As you to be in size, eight. templates make it easier to quickly order replacements for any losses they may have sustained. Uh, no. Uh, nine. That's what we want. So that's fine. And got a bunch of ships that can be upgraded. We can reinforce them now. So we're going to reinforce. 
Start getting some destroyers out. All right, like I said, we're going to go put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll finish reinforcing that fleet and kind of go from there. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.